Bowling for Columbine. It was produced by director Michael Moore and it digs into the Columbine High School masquerade in which 12 students and one teacher were killed by two students and who and then went on to commit suicide. Michael Moore projects his opinions and thoughts on gun violence and the interviews can help elucidate his point as but this documentary can be seen as a bit biased. He made this documentary to raise awareness on gun violence and crimes in America. Um, what's your opinion on gun, gun laws in America? They're very loose because pretty much anyone can get guns, so I think they should be tightened. Have you ever seen Bowling for Columbine? Yes, I have. It was um, pretty shocking because he goes into a bank and is basically just handed a gun and they don't really check anything. And so it's pretty shocking how easy it is. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, what is your personal opinion on gun crimes? Um, that there's a lot of them and there shouldn't be as many as there are. But then unless they change gun laws, then there's going to be as many as there are. Have you seen Bowling for Columbine? Uh, yeah, I have actually quite recently. It's good. It's quite a good uh, movie. What do you think of the issues raised in there? I thought it was very interesting. Um, I mean, I think it is quite a one-sided uh, film. However, the points raised there is excellent, really. I, I do agree with a lot of them. I think gun control in America is a bit, it's a bit lax, really. And uh, I also think sort of the fear-mongering through the media is, is a huge problem there. And uh, I definitely think you know that's no way to really run a country for you. Um, how do you think it affects the younger generation? Um, I mean, it definitely does. It makes people a lot more trigger happy. I think a big thing that was shown was like the difference between them and Canadians. And Canadians, you know, they were amazed how the first reaction of a lot of Americans is, "You're on my property. I'm going to pull out a gun." So that makes people more trigger happy. It makes people assume the worst in people, and it and it makes you know honestly fearful. Uh, from a lot of people that are different to you, so it can promote racism and like, a whole lot of stuff like that, really. I mean, it's not good to live with fear. There's no way that can be good to be brought up with that.